Ever get that feeling like music is happening all around you, not just in your ears, like you're actually in the recording studio? Yeah, it's almost like you can pinpoint where each instrument is. Exactly. That's 8D audio at work. It creates this awesome illusion of 3D sound using just your headphones. But how does it actually trick your brain? And what else can this tech do besides music? Well, that's exactly what we're going to deep dive into today. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So to really understand 8D audio, we've got to talk about how our brains naturally locate sound. You got it. Think about it this way. Every day, we're bombarded with sound. And our brain has evolved this incredible ability to figure out where those sounds are coming from. So we can tell if someone's calling our name from behind or if a car is coming up on our right side. Exactly. Our brains use these tiny differences in the way sound hits each ear to pinpoint the location. It's like a built-in sonar system. Okay, so AT audio is messing with that system. Right, it's like giving your brain a sonic illusion. Wow. Software manipulates sound to mimic those differences that our ears naturally pick up. So it's kind of like fooling our ears into thinking sounds are coming from different directions. Pretty much. And to do that, it uses some clever techniques. One of them is called HRTF, it stands for Head Related Transfer Function. Uh, that sounds a little uh, complicated. I know, right? But don't worry, it's not that bad. Basically, HRTF takes into account how your head and ears shake the sound waves before they reach your eardrums. So everyone's HRTF is a little different. Exactly. It's like a sonic fingerprint. And 8D audio software uses this information to personalize the sound. Wow. And what about binaural recording? The source material kept mentioning that. Ah, that's another key piece of the puzzle. With binaural recording, you use two microphones placed inside a model head, like literally shaped like a human head. Oh, so they're spaced apart like our ears. That makes sense. Yeah, so it captures those subtle differences in sound that our ears would naturally hear if we were in that same space. So it's like capturing the 3D sound field. Yeah. Okay, this is all making more sense. Good, good. <laughs> Now, even though it's called 8D audio, there aren't really eight dimensions of sound. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's more of a marketing term, to be honest. Satchy, though. For sure. But it's really just creating the illusion of three-dimensional sound. Gotcha. So we've talked about the science behind it. <laughs> but beyond music, where is 8D audio being used? I saw some stuff about video games, which sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that's one of the biggest applications right now. Imagine you're playing a game and you hear footsteps creeping up behind you. Spooky. Or an explosion off in the distance that echoes through the virtual world. Whoa, yeah, that would be intense. It adds this crazy level of realism and makes the whole experience more immersive. And it's not just games, right? What about virtual reality? Oh, yeah. 8D audio is crucial for VR. It tricks your brain into believing you're actually present in that virtual environment. Because in VR, you're relying on your senses to feel like you're really there. Exactly. And without yeah. accurate 3D sound, it just wouldn't be the same. So are there any limitations to this tech? I mean, everyone's head and ears are different, right? You're right. That's a big challenge right now. Most 8D audio algorithms use a kind of average head model. Ah, so it might not be perfectly tailored to everyone. Yeah, but imagine a future where you could scan your own ears and create a custom HRTF profile. That's pretty wild. So personalized sound, that's one direction this tech could go in. What other mind-blowing applications do you see? Well, think about accessibility. Someone with hearing loss could potentially use 8D audio to boost the specific frequencies they have trouble hearing. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Or imagine soundscapes designed to help people with visual impairments navigate their surroundings. That's so cool. It's not just about entertainment. It can really make a difference. What about the creative side of things? The possibilities are endless. We could have immersive 3D audio plays, interactive museum exhibits, even 8D movies where you feel like you're right in the action. It sounds like we're just at the beginning. Yeah. 8D audio is still in its early stages, but it has the potential to totally change the way we experience sound. Okay, so let's recap what we've learned. 8D audio tricks our brains into hearing sounds in 3D using some pretty clever science. And it's not just a cool gimmick. It's already being used in video games, virtual reality, and even has the potential to help people with disabilities. And who knows what the future holds. It makes you think, right? As this technology gets even more advanced, will we reach a point where we can't even tell the difference between real and virtual sound? That's a pretty mind-bending thought. And that's something for all of us to ponder. Absolutely. So <laughs> go out there, find some AD audio, and experience it for yourself. You might be surprised at what you hear. You never know. You might not even believe your own ears. Until next time. See ya.